let's use the skimmer package or library to create some summary statistics of your data. We would need some libraries or packages and I'll be using the skimmer package, dplyr, gt, flextable, and ggplot2. So basically skimmer is the main package, everything else is just to support our demo. We would need some sample data to start our demo. So I'll be using the ggplot2 package and there's a diamond data set in there which we can use. So I'm creating another data frame called df using the ggplot2 diamond data set. So it has about 53,000 rows in that. Let's view some top 20 rows of this data set using the gt. And I'm using the head command just to display the top 20 records. So here we go. There's another way to do this view. You can actually say df and then using the dplyr pipe, you can say view. It'll simply display your data on, in a table in there. Of course, you can also double click on your data frame and it'll do the same thing. So let's use this data frame which we created called df and then I'm saying df and then I'm piping it to the skim command. So all you have to say is skim, open brackets and close bracket. And if you just run this, you would see that it has actually displayed something in your console down there. So let's see what it does. It has some basic information about the number of rows, columns, etc. And then it also gives you the description uh, statistics like missing number of missing records, completion rate, mean, standard deviation, and then the median and the minimum and the maximum, etc. It's fine to have this kind of statistics, but how do we use that practically, you know, when you want to report it in your documentation or in your um, reports. So let's see how we can do that and let's learn some techniques. So you can use the GT package. GT is good when you're doing an online um, view of your data. And I prefer to use the flex table when I'm doing a Word document or a PDF. So flex table, passing the same thing to that. So DF pipe skim and that gives us a similar output. Let's do another example and I'll use slightly different syntax. So I'm saying skim and then passing the data frame df to that and then using the dplyr command and I would select some columns which we want to display. So the first one would be the skim type and the skim variable and the last one would be the numerical mean. So we just want to see what type of variables they are and what was the variable name and what was the numeric mean. So it has given us this output and if I pass it to GT, then we can see the output in, in the viewer screen. Now let's go forward and try to do something different. This time I'm saying data frame DF, passing it to skim and then saying partition. So the partition is again a skimmer command. Let me put skimmer in the front so that you know that it's coming from the skimmer package. Sometimes good to pass the name of the packages in the front. For example, if you have two packages which have exactly the same commands or functions available within them, then the system gives an error or it gets confused uh, which package um, command or which package function to use. So the output has now been shown in the console, but let's create another data frame or DF2 out of it. And you know, DF2 is not a data frame. It's basically a list of two. And why is that? Let's see that. So you can see within that list that we have a number of variables in there. And if I say DF2 dollar, I see factor. So this is a data frame which only has the factor information. Then there's another data frame within that list, which is basically having all the numeric variables output. So let's use the gt command to view it on the screen. So gt df2 dollar factor and you can see it on the screen that this is a nice output of all the factor variables which you can use in your reports. And similarly, I can do the same thing with the numeric variables. So if you wanted to report your factor variables separately and numerical variables separately, you can actually make use of the partition command. In the previous examples, you saw that all the statistics were laid up in a horizontal direction as you can see. Now I'm going to create an output where the statistics would be vertically placed or in a long format. So Skimmer has another command which is called two underscore long 
and of course it's from the skimmer package so let me qualify that and if i run it you would see that it has created another data frame called d long and you can see that instead of the horizontal direction the statistics are actually in a vertical orientation and of course i can pass it to the gt package a gt li library and then get a nice output on the screen and that gives us another idea why don't we use just a specific statistics for a specific variable we can do that so i'm using the dlong output and creating another one called dlong2 and then i'm going to filter it out and we can filter it using the dplyr filter and what do we want to filter we want to filter the stat so what we can use maybe we can use this nice histogram outputs so let's filter it by stat equals or double equals numeric dot hist so if i run it we have a smaller output i want to use this output in my report so i want to make some more modifications for example the names the column names are different i just want to have a nice column names for them so i'm going to use the scheme variable and formatted variables these two variables uh, but i want to change the names to something better so i'm going to use the dplyr rename command and so the rename works like this so the new variable or the new name in the front and the old name or the existing name in the end so characteristic equals skim underscore variable so skim underscore variable would be replaced or changed or renamed to characteristic we have a complete series on dplyr commands if you want to watch it please go ahead and watch it on our channel let's rename the second variable also so the second variable which i wanted to use was the formatted variable which was the last one on the screen which you can see so again using the new name i want to call it distribution and equals the old name the old name of the column was formatted so let me fix it so this is the column formatted so this is the output the names or the column names have been changed but we don't want to use all the four columns i just want to use only those two which i just renamed so i'm saying dplyr select and in the select command i'm passing the new names for these two variables only these two variables are going to be used so if i run it now i'll get another data frame d long 2 which only has those two variables and the names have been properly renamed and now we can use this in our report so how do we use this in our report again i'm going to use the gt command if i'm doing an online presentation so gt d long 2 would give us this and if i wanted to do a word output or a pdf output in in the markdown i'm going to use the flex table so flex table d long 2 would give us this which is quite similar to what we saw in gt package as well but let's enhance this a bit further flex table also gives us some built-in themes so i'm going to use the theme zebra which is interesting because it gives us alternating shades in the tables something like this which can be used in our report so very quickly in the end i just want to show you another way of using skimmer and i'm going to use the skim which we are already familiar with now and i'm going to use the focus command now focus command allows us to use only those very only those statistics which we want to use for example i just want to see the n underscore missing and i'm going to see the numeric dot mean not underscore so it's going to be numeric dot mean so i'm just going to change it to so these are all the major practical aspects of using skimmer in your reports or in your online presentations i hope you found this information useful and practical thank you very much for watching it and i'll see you in the next one